So I've been very wiggy about how to varnish a painting and I usually pay someone to varnish it for me because I'm so chicken. So one of my friends taught me how to do it correctly and then I looked at a YouTube video and it's been working wonderful for me. So first of all, let me show you how I do it. So I use the Gambar Gloss Varnish and I have a little stainless steel uh, bowl and I have my varnish, I call it my varnish, I haven't marked it. My varnish knife, I mean knife, listen to me, varnish um, um, brush. And one of the things um, I learned to do was just to flip the brush to make sure there's no dust or anything in it. I just used it the other day, so it should be very, very clean. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is pour a small amount into my little bowl here. That may not be enough. Okay. I should have my gloves on, but it didn't. Now, I dip my brush in, and then I tap it on the side. See how it's, I'm gonna let it drip all down? Let me hold this a little bit better. So that won't very much on my brush. And then, and look at the difference that's gonna happen the minute I start varnishing it, the, the color is gonna change. And I wiggle my brush. Look at that, isn't that just amazing how it makes a color come out so fast? totally changes. The color sinks in as you paint it, and the varnish brings it back. Now, I'm just wiggling my brush. You see that? Because I'm on canvas, and I want to make sure it gets into any, you know, little grooves or where the paint might be a little thicker. And I'm going to do this until this, the, my, the varnish on this brush kind of runs out. And it's pretty easy to see where you varnished, isn't it? I mean, look at the difference. Watch your arm come alive. Whoa, that is amazing, isn't it? This is one of my favorite parts now is to actually watch it come alive. You can see my brush is getting a little bit dry. That's okay. You know, just because, you know, so now I wipe it both directions. I'm gonna wipe it up this way too. You can see I was, I really had very little left on that brush because it's not going very far. Okay, now I'm gonna dip it in here again. Take it on the side, whoops. Get all the excess out. Oops, Not dump it off the edge there. Hard to do this and hold my phone at the same time as she got my my little uh, phone holder out to do this for you guys, but I didn't. This is a work day at the studio. I gotta frame a couple of paintings and do this. I gotta varnish two paintings. Okay, here we go. So I'm still wiggling, see I'm wiggling? I'm just kind of pushing it into everything this way. And I can see where I've been. This is, again, this is the best part. You can see where you've been. And I know the places that might need a little bit extra because of the way I paint. You don't want to get it in here too thick. That's another thing. You want to keep it pretty thin. Oh, watch your face. Oh, this is so cool. Look at your little eyes come alive. Oh, so pretty. Look at that little face. This kid is so cute. When I was up in Arkansas recently, I had a pose for me for a few more paintings I wanna do with some more fairy ideas I had. She's a little actress. She just knew exactly what to do and nailed it. Let me get a little bit more stuff here. Okay, here we go. Almost done. The nice thing too, we're having fabulous weather today and I'm one of the lucky people, I have a door in my studio that goes outside that really no one else knows that I have. I mean, it's not like visible to the front to the public so I can open it up and uh, let all this air out today. I'm sorry, I got busy not looking at where I was pointing the phone. This looks like I've got it well covered. I don't see anything left. No streaks. I'm just gonna do it one more time this way. 
Just trying to get all the excess stuff off. Do it one more time. Just trying to get it as thin as I can. I did the ballerina yesterday, and man, does she look good. She's over there drawing. This is where this one's gonna go too to dry. And then when I get done, I'm going to um, wash all this up with uh, just soap and water and it gets really, really clean. Let me show you my little ballerina over here. Let me show you how pretty she came out when she got varnished. Oops, sorry, walking all around my studio. It's a big glare from the, uh, from the overhead light, but look how her face just popped out. Really, really nice. Set this in the floor over here. Oops, I'll set it there, put it over here. And then bring this one over here to dry. You know, one of the nice things is when I had this tabaret built, I never realized I'd be using it for framing and <laughs> everything else. I want to show you, um, let me do the, um, the poinsettia, because I think that's going to really uh, pop a lot whenever I get this on here. So hang on, we over here. I got three commissions going on at once, but I'm going to get them all done. Okay, so this one again. I love this one. This will be a beautiful gift for someone to give someone. So I got, I got just enough stuff left, I think, to do this one. Well, you know what? Hang on. I may want to put a little bit more in here. Hang on. I'm a little bit dry. Just a dab. Okay. Now, just dab it a little bit. Half the sides. So I don't have too much on here. Now, yeah, that's what this one does when I varnish it. Oops. Y'all, sorry I'm so klutzy here, but this morning, but I thought you'd enjoy this. Here we go. So, let me get this turned sideways. Now, typically, a small painting like this, I would typically just spray varnish it. It's pretty easy to do. and get it really thin. But since I already had this out this morning, I thought, well, I'll just do it. Oh my gosh, look how pretty those Christmas balls. Look at them, oh my gosh. Don't you just love that? Wait till I get to the poinsettia. Look at the difference. Better get back to what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me get, make sure I don't miss any little spots, see? I can get carried away and I'll miss a spot. So I gotta go back to my plan, stick to the plan. Don't deviate. This one moves a little bit more than the other one did. And because this is a canvas um, board, I call it canvas board, uh, the grooves aren't quite so deep to worry about, but still, anytime you're dealing with some canvas, let's say canvas is linen actually, you gotta make sure that you get into all the little pores, I call them the pores of the canvas. Oh my gosh, look how pretty these leaves are. Now let me do my little thing here to make sure I didn't miss anything. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Now, this is going to make somebody a really nice Christmas present. You know, it's a really nice present to get somebody, like, for Thanksgiving, actually, so that they have time to enjoy it during the holidays. Then they can have a poinsettia year-round that they don't have to worry about watering. Or if they have animals, you know how poinsettias are not good for cats. It kind of kills them. I think it's poison. Oh, this looks so pretty, y'all. Let me show you. Wow. Oops. Isn't that beautiful now? So anyway, that's how I varnish a painting. Hope you enjoyed.